from our studios in Northeast Ohio. Join us in song. Meet us in ministry. Now, let's join our host for Radiant Life, Thank you so much for tuning in to Radiant Life. I'm your host, Brandon Hollis, and how excited am I today to be able to share with you. I want to take just a moment and thank our founders, Dr. Garth and Tina Kuntz, for without them, we wouldn't be able to share the good news. What is the good news? It's the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's how we are able to share it because of our founders, and we thank God for them. Listen, at any time during the show, you can call in. Uh, there may be something that touches you. There may be something uh, that you want to connect with a prayer partner concerning. Well, you can do that at any point in the show. Just dial that number, 800-232-9855. A prayer partner is standing by. Uh, you can also go to our website, www.tct.tv. Well, I'm excited. Uh, and this is actually the first time of me uh, personally meeting this man, but I've been listening to this man for a long time. <laughs> he is the one, the only Sam Silk. Can you welcome our guest? Thank you, you so much, up? Sam. Thanks Thank you for, for being me. on, man. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Oh my gosh, what a what an honor! First of all, it is to even have you here, uh, radio host of the Sam Silk Show yes, on ninety three point one. Uh, my God, you're doing some phenomenal things that we're going to talk about. Mm -hmm. You just opened three restaurants. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So uh, there's so much to talk about. There's so mm -hmm. much to cover. But just in case somebody's watching and they're like, well, who is the Sam Silk guy? <laughs> Can you tell us who you are? Tell us where you're from, how it all started. Uh, wow, that, that, that's, that could be long. It's a but, loaded question. Right, right, right. <laughs> uh, well, first of all, thanks for having me on the Absolutely. show. Absolutely, my pleasure. Uh, thank God for the opportunity. Uh, born and raised in Chicago. Wow. Um, I got my start uh, actually playing around, uh, imitating uh, disc jockeys on the radio. Wow. That was part of it. Never <laughs> thought it would really happen, but I was just doing it. So uh, throughout my childhood, I would uh, make these cassette tapes. You remember cassette tapes? Absolutely, <laughs> I do. <laughs> I, was so, I was so serious that I would record the commercials off wow. the radio so I could have real commercials on my, <laughs> on my tape. <laughs> I love it, oh my gosh. And so uh, I, would, I would, you know, DJ the neighborhood barbecues or uh, if I, whenever our church would have like a, uh, a family out day, I would set up in the van wow. and act like I was doing a real radio broadcast. Oh my goodness. You know? <laughs> and, uh, you know, we'd be playing, you know, playing the music and stuff of that nature. I mean, yeah. You're familiar with James Cleveland. I am. So, so we would, you know, you know, the folks around the church, come play my request, play my song. Right. And I would talk to them, record them and then give them the tape back. <laughs> and, uh, I went, I went on from there, um. A friend of mine, mm -hmm. um, who I, I grew up with, she was at uh, uh, she was in college uh, a year before I was. Okay. So she was at uh, IIT, okay, Hello Institute of Technology, and she said, "Hey, there's a radio station here." I said, "Well, your school does they don't specialize in broadcast." He's like, right. "It don't matter. There's a radio station." Wow. Why don't you just come up? I you know I sign up. Yeah. And uh, you come up and do the show. Oh my God. And uh, and that's what we did. Wow. And I would go up there and, and, and do, do a radio show, just, you know, putting records on and talking to people mm -hmm, and would mm -hmm. prank the real radio station. Right, right. And so I got them to actually come down oh my. Uh, to, the, to the station one day. And the, and the gentleman said, uh, Jam and Dave Michaels, they'll forget. He says, look, man, you need to take, take this serious. Why don't, wow. you, uh, why don't you go ahead and go to school and do it? And why don't you try to do it? And yeah. I was like, oh, man, you know, whatever. I'm just joking around. Yeah, yeah. joking around. And the, the bug caught me. And I went to Kennedy King College. And uh, from there, I, again, back to the cassette tapes, mm -hmm. um, I would uh, record my show. They call it air checks. Okay. Demos. Okay. And I, uh, I sent out, uh, well, let me go back to the library. You, mm -hmm. you remember the encyclopedias, right? Yes, you go sir. to the library, yes, you look sir. up, there's this book in the library that had every radio station in the United States. Wow. So I would get a demo, mm -hmm. get a resume, and I would mail out my air check. Wow. To so many radio stations, <laughs> I would go goodness. to Walgreens and get Tone Master tape, mm -hmm. and so uh, I just kept mailing and mailing and ran up my phone bill. That's before we hit unlimited calling. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> calling, hey, this is Sam Silk out of Chicago. Did you get my demo? Oh my God! And one day I got a phone call 
to Columbus, Mississippi. Okay. And it kind of just, it went from there. Wow. And, and I went there. I went there on faith. Mm. I was making um, $650 a month. Wow. A city boy from Chicago drove yes. with like 300 some bucks in my pocket. Oh, my Lord. And uh, that, that's pretty much how it started. And, and wow. I never will forget. I never will forget. And you, you're making me, you, you know, taking me back. Most definitely. I never will forget when I got down there, the station had only put me up for like a day or two. Mm. So then I had to get my own house. Right. You know, this is my first radio gig, first radio job. Wow. And I never will forget, because I, you know, slept in my car one time. Yes, washed sir. up in the Burger King bathroom. Oh, my Lord. Um, mm. So I was looking through the newspaper, and it was hard to find something. Mm -hmm. And so when I did find something, um, the gentleman's name was Stan. Mm -hmm. And it was, you know, you're talking about a city boy. All right. the way, I go all the way out to, it's nothing but trees. I'm in Mississippi, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I'm out there, and, and he has a trailer. Mm -hmm. So it was like 325 bucks a month. Wow. Now, I told you I was only making like 650. 650, right, <laughs> a month. <laughs> okay. And so, mind you, I have a daughter. Right. Okay. Wow. Uh, back in Chicago. They on right. their way down. Right. Um, so I didn't have enough. I didn't have enough for rent. I didn't have sure. enough for the money, you know, you know, to give the gentleman. So I looked at it. I liked it. Mm -hmm. And I said, he said, what do you think? I said, hold on. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. And I went into the other room and I said, well, God, you know how much money I got. Right. You know how much right. money I have on me. Mm -hmm. You know, if this is for me to have, then let it oh be. God. Wow. And so I understood. I said, hey, it might not be. And right. I get it. You know, right, city right. boy, I'm down here in Columbus, Mississippi, looking around. So I went out, and I just told the man the truth, just told him what it is. I said, this is how much money I have. Um, I just came down on the, on the, you know, from Chicago, mm -hmm. starting at WACR. Wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, you know what, Sam? That's all right with me. Give me $150, and then and, and when you get paid, pay the other part, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, you'll be, you'll be fine. Wow. And I never will forget that day. And Jesus. from on, from that day forward, um, I've been blessed uh, to be in radio. And I My thank God, God for that. My yeah. God. Yeah. What a story. I mean, when, when we hear you, those that, that listen to you, I don't, I don't think it was ever in our mind mm. to know the backstory that this man slept in his car, mm -hmm. washed up in a Burger King bathroom. Yeah. But, but that's how... God works. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, <laughs> bringing oh, yeah. you through a process. Um, here you are now, mm -hmm. uh, the radio show host on ninety three point one, which is Radio One. Am I correct? Correct, Urban One. Right. Uh, so, so this is a huge station, especially for this area. I know yes. we've had many people watching, but here in Ohio, that is a huge station, and uh, the the opportunity that you've been there and been there as long as you have yes can you just walk us through how that came about well i was on um, on the radio in chicago mm -hmm. uh wgci yes, the sir. station i used to prank oh wow <laughs> and i wind up on that station look at there <laughs> um, and they were built they were starting a new radio station here at 1079 yes and they called mm -hmm. and they said, hey, we, we, we're, com we're coming through Chicago. We hear you. Are you interested in coming to Cleveland? Wow. And uh, I said, oh, OK, let's, let's check it out. Mm -hmm. And so they flew me. They flew me down and uh, I came. I liked it. And uh, I did uh, two stints on 1079. OK. Um, the first time I left and went back to Chicago mm -hmm. because then, you know, I went to afternoons. Yes, sir. Um, and then. Uh, I went to, uh, my left there and went to Philly. Anyway, I came back to 107 again. Wow. After I resigned. Yes, sir. And I came back again. Then I resigned again. Wow. Then <laughs> I was back in Chicago. And so I got the call to come back to WZAK. Right. I said, what is it? And see, and then broadcast them. I'm going to be, be transparent. Yes, sir. You really don't go back a lot of times. I see. But sometimes, okay. you know. You know, you leave on good stand. You for know, sure, for you know, sure. They welcome you back. Right. Uh, but here it is the third time. My God. And I said, wow. When I got that phone call. Right. I was like, you know, you know, th this I mean, ZAK, like you mentioned, is like when I when I would look in the book, mm -hmm. you know, when I was in college. Right. That was one of the stations. 
oh my that God. I mailed the tape to. Huh. Wow. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You know, 107 was new. Yes. You know, so they, you know, they wasn't in the they book. In, yeah. They was in the book then. Wow. Um, and so to be on that station, I don't take it for granted. Yes, to be sir. able to talk and entertain people every day. Yes, sir. Um, um, it's, su it's such a, you know, a great opportunity, a huge blessing wow. just to be able to have your voice heard every day. For sure. Every For day. For sure. Yeah. And how long have you been with 93? I've been in 93 now going on, uh, I believe like the, the six, the six years, second, wow. second contract. Yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And some of the things uh, that you discuss on there is, is so relevant mm -hmm. uh, to what we're dealing with as a community, as a people. Uh, and then even, even you, uh, I love the fact and I want to say this, that mm. you have not compromised mm. uh, who your God is, mm. um, how you incorporate it some way, form or another. You mm. always incorporate uh, God. I want you to take a moment and, and just talk to us about why uh, it is so important to you mm -hmm. to keep him involved with what you're doing. Of course, when we when uh, those of you that don't know about 93 WZAK, of course, it would be more of a secular Avenue, correct. Um, but but God has you there, and you have not um, gave up your connection to Him. And I want I want to, I want the people to know mm -hmm. why that has been important to you. Man, God is is everything to me. Yes, sir. I cannot mm -hmm. make it without Him. Yes, sir. Period. Mm -hmm. I used to question. I did. You know, I grew up in church. Yes. Uh, and. The first time I ever tried to actually go to a radio station was a gospel was a, a church at a gospel station. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, it didn't happen. Wow. And so, you know, I wound up doing secular. Mm -hmm. I would, you know, hear from some of the church folk, "Boy, that's the devil's music." Right. Right. Why are you doing it? Well, you grew <laughs> up in here, Holy Ghost filled church of ruins. You didn't care for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> up midnight, now you want to go and right. And I was like, but it's, you know, it was just something, something about it that that, that drew me to it. Absolutely. Uh, but yet, I st I never stopped going to church mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because it, I st I love God. Yes. And um, I would be I would I I would be the DJ in the club mm -hmm. that will say something about God in the club. If you love God, <laughs> put your hands up. I don't. That's I'm just I being real. It. Yes, I'm sir. just I'm just being real. Right. Because right. that was in me. It wasn't a mission from they told me to do from church. That, that was just me. Wow. Regardless of what. Mm. Um, and so I always, I always, because of what I had been through, I told you about the conversation I had in that room. Oh, yes. And I knew that, I knew that was God. I had mm. to get into him and not getting into just what everybody else was saying. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to challenge myself, like, man, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? But I always said, any time that I get a chance mm -hmm. to say who my God is, I'm going to say it. Hallelujah. Because he's, he, he's, he, you wasn't there right. when I went through what I went through. Yes, sir. Um, and I had to accept the way that I'm going. Yes, sir. At first, I used to be like, Oh man, I'm gonna go to church Sunday. I'm on the radio. No, I'm serious. I'm, be, I'm being being Yo, really honest. This is real. Yes, and, sir. And I would still take take my you know pay my tithes and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And some people would make me feel like uncomfortable. You know, right. Yeah. Yeah. And so, but yet, I knew God was with me. Yes, sir. Everywhere I ever went, mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. knew He was there. Right. And and there were times. Thank you. Thank you. I never will forget mm. when. A young lady called me and said she was going to kill herself wow. on a secular station. Mm. I was Saturday night on WGCI in Chicago. I said I called my, my program director, who saved. Mm -hmm. His name is Elroy Smith. He's yes, at uh, he's in uh, San Francisco. Um, I said, hey man, um, I just really want to play this Kirk Franklin song. My mm. life is in his hands. Wow, wow. You know, this is a hip hop station. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He says. Really? I said, man, I just really want to play this song. I really, I just, I just feel it, man. It's a great wow. song. It's, you know, I, I, it's, it's, it's awesome. He says, I go and play it mm. Saturday night. And they folks getting ready to go to the, go, go to the club Absolutely. on Saturday night. Absolutely, right. You know. So we played the song. My cold Dr. Love looking like, man, what's going on? Hey, Samuel. <laughs> and so we played the song. Do you know the lady called and said that she was thinking about taking her life until she heard that song. Wow. 
<laughs> until she heard that song, Kirk Franklin. Jesus, my, my life, life is, is in, in his hands. hands. <laughs> and and wow. and from all all these different times you, and situations, Jesus. I said, mm. I have to understand my place. Yes, sir. This is where you want me right now. Wow. And so, uh, you know, sometimes I didn't understand it. Right. Uh, and and I, you know, I appreciate and I'm so grateful. Um, other opportunity. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can, you know, either doing the show, we do, we do uh, coat drives. Yes, yes. Food drives. I got all that from the foundation mm. where we used to feed the mercy seat. Right. You know, <laughs> we had to, when we marched in the choir, we had to bring a canned good. Wow. And we set it on the altar. Yes, sir. And we would fill it up. Mm. And then on first Sundays, they would take it into the, and fill up the pantry and then during the week, mm. You know what I mean? Right. They would, they would, you know, feed the mercy seat. Mm. Same thing with, with coach. All that was in me. And so when, when, when God blessed me to have the platform to be on the radio, I, let's keep it going. Wow. Wow. Let's keep it going. Wow. Um, and we've been blessed to, you know, to connect with the community and folks come together. For sure. Um, and so it's, it's, it's bigger than me. Yes, sir. It's just an opportunity. Yes, sir. And, and I, I'm just glad uh, for that opportunity. Right. Uh, and that's why I, I, you know, when I get a chance, I'm, I'm gonna see how great he is, how Come awesome he now. is. Yes, sir. Because I can remember when I, when I didn't have nothing to eat. Yes, sir. And I yes, got sir. a phone call that said, "Hey, I'm gonna fill up your cabinet." Wow. And this person didn't know that we didn't wow. have nothing to eat. Mm. So, so, mm. so I remember those days. Yes. You know, and so it was, it was, it was God who Absolutely. was there, and it's God Absolutely. who was with me. Wow. So that's why I have no problem. Uh, saying how great he is. Definitely. Good morning. Definitely. Let's talk to the king. Give him, <laughs> give him some thanks. I love it. Before we play Luther Vandross. Or right. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing to me because saints, saints have a way of, of talking about some of the avenues that God directs us in to take, and mm -hmm. they'll be talking about it. I'm thinking to myself, but you, it, when I got in your car, it was locked uh -huh. on 93. <laughs> <laughs> right. And I would say that, too. I would say that. I was like, well, how do you know when I'm playing? Exactly. <laughs> if you, if you, you took it off with the go, off right. the JMO, you took, you took it off. So <laughs> Hilarious, hilarious. Well, not only are you doing absolutely amazing things in radio, mm -hmm. but you're doing, your, your hands are involved with some other things as well. Mm -hmm. You just recently opened up your very own chain of restaurants. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Can you blessed. talk about how this came about? Uh, wow. Uh, Sam Silk Chicken and Fish. Jeez. Uh, that, he didn't bring me none, y'all, by the way. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling we, we all everybody. We're going to get you some next time, okay. We're going to make okay. sure we get you some. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it was, it was something that was, uh, again, burning, just burning and burning. I used to work in uh, culinary. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, we used to do catering. Okay. Um, so I was a waiter and worked in the kitchen and um, stuff of that nature. But it was always something just, you know, they mm -hmm. hadn't thought nothing of it. Even made a bit when we was on the radio called Pass the Chicken. Wow. <laughs> and... Uh, it was, it was funny. We had Sad the Entertain even jumped in on the yeah, joke or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And, and I would always kind of, I would see little, little, little pieces. Yes, sir. And, and one day, one day, um, it came to me, mm -hmm. you know, um, well, you know, let's do this. Mm -hmm. And we didn't necessarily move on that at the time. Mm -hmm. But I knew that was the right time. Wow. The reason why I knew it was the right time is because what, were, what, what the exact location and the name of it, Somebody else put it right there. Jeez. The exact name. Wow. And at the same location. Huh. Wow. So then I moved later on something else, different name, different location. And um, I learned from that situation. Okay. Timing is everything. Most definitely. Um, you have to move when you when it's time to move. Yes, sir. And so um, when I came back, remember I told you I came back, this is the third time. Right. And when I came back, after that one, the first one, we closed it. It, wow. was, it wasn't working. Gotcha. And I learned a lot from it. Yes, sir. And, oh, mm, my God, man. Yes, Lord. When I closed it, mm -hmm. it's right, actually when I got the call to come back here. Mm. <laughs> wow. Confirmation. And, man. Yes, sir. And so I was like, yeah, yeah let me just, I'm going to, someone's like, and I got that when it closed it. And it wasn't too long after that, I got that phone call to come to Cleveland. Wow. So I, I thought, uh, I, you know. Yeah. I'll leave that alone. For sure. Mm -mm. 
God had a it's, plan. It's, it, right. It, it started, it just started bubbling, bubbling all over again, bubbling all wow. over again to the point it was, I was just like, I can't sleep. Right, right. <laughs> oh my gosh. And, 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 uh, uh, talked to the wife and we were talking about, she's like, you, you got to do it. You got to do it. Mm. You know? And so, uh, we got together, man. And, and, uh, you know, it, it's amazing. Three, three locations. Wow. Three locations. Amazing. Yeah. And so talk about some of the things on the menu. Obviously, yeah. chicken and yeah. fish. Yes, Ch uh, chicken, uh, uh, fish. You like right. perch, whiting, tilapia. Oh, my Lord. Uh, orange roughy. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, did I mention shrimp? No. We, we have shrimp. shrimp. Oh, my you Lord. You have catfish. We can even get to frog legs if you like frog legs. You're kidding me. White bass. You basically brought the South here. Yeah. We got yeah. uh, collard greens, uh, green wow. beans, spaghetti. Uh, crab tater tots. What? Crab loaded tater tots. I've never heard of it. Man, delicious. But I bet you I'm going to be eating them. <laughs> <laughs> so Sam Silk's chicken and fish. Right, right. Oh, right. my yeah, gosh. Yeah. And in three locations three lo in Cleveland? In Cleveland. In what's, Cleveland. what's those addresses? So we're, we're at uh, 3761 Lee Road, mm -hmm. actually Shaker Heights, borderline Cleveland. Okay. Um, uh, 4122 Mayfield Road, South Euclid, and 222.95. Uh, Euclid Avenue in Euclid. Wow. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah. And so, like, do do you make appearances there? Oh, I, in oh, fact, I, I don't even know why I'm asking you that <laughs> because I've I've been following you, right, of right, course, right. and I see you just showing up and yeah. and greeting the people and 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 I, being I, hands on. I'm getting in cooked too. My God. Uh, last night. So these are yeah. your recipes? Yeah. Last night I was prepping chicken. Wow. Um, I'm seasoning the chicken. Um, you know, had to. It it, it, got, it got to the point that we had to. I had to have someone come in mm -hmm. and, and get it where it's packaged up. Gotcha. So it make make it simple. Right. You right. Because we, we we going into the you know as you meant the change, so we had to For simplify. Sure. But yes. Yes. Do do I go there? Of course. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm probably going to be there when I leave the show. Oh my <laughs> lord! And I'm maybe behind you. <laughs> so so you've got you've got the the radio show that's doing absolutely amazing, and I mean when I tell you Sam is covering. Uh, the most pressing things that we're dealing with, not just in this state, not just this city in mm -hmm. this area, but things that are going on on a national and a worldwide basis. Sam is dealing with it on his show. And uh, I, I, we literally got just a few minutes left, but I, I wanna just um, want people to hear from you mm -hmm. when, when all of this stuff is coming across your desk, mm -hmm. um, whether it's positive or negative or whatever's going, the transitions of life yeah. and how they're going, uh, some of everything has had to come across your desk for you True. to discuss on your show. Talk to us about how you feel um, uh, of where we are in mm -hmm. this world today and what your input would be into trying to get us back to where we should be. We, we need love. Mm. People need to learn how to love one another. Wow. We're so quick to hit the like button on somebody's misfortune. <laughs> We're so wow. quick to hit the share button on if I fell off of here, going to, you know, to my seat. Yes, sir. Um, that, we, that, we don't, that we don't love anymore. Wow. We're so quick to want to show out for the gram. Mm. Um, that we don't know how to love anymore. Wow. If we would start, number one, loving ourselves, it'll start rubbing off on you. Absolutely. And I'll love you better. Yes. And you'll love him better. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think that when I get these stories and I read these stories and so much is going on, at the end of the day, if we have more love and compassion for our brother and sister, the world would be a better place. My God. Yeah. Wow. What an amazing thing. We need love. Yeah. We need love. And, and that is so funny that you talk about that, Sam, because everywhere I've been preaching lately, I don't care what I, I start off talking about. Mm -hmm. Somewhere along the line, I end up drifting off yeah. into this love uh, avenue because I, I feel, especially, and this is sad to say, mm -hmm. but I'm going to say it here on this network, but we have, as the church, mm -hmm. have seemingly lost the compassion, the love that we should have but when we when we read about Jesus mm -hmm. that's all he did yeah the Bible says he went down to the docks the docks we translate as the hood mm -hmm. the ghetto right and he went down there and uh, I, I tell you that right there what Sam is saying man that is exactly what we need we need love and uh, I believe this 
um, every time I listen to your show, mm -hmm. uh, I can I can sense the love that you have for the people, mm -hmm. the concern for your community, the concern for this nation and this world. And that's why I wanted to bring you on, man, because uh, I wanted someone to hear. He's not just the radio show host. Mm -hmm. He's not just the owner of these three restaurants, but he's a man that's committed to the love. And that's what it's all about. Man, yes, sir. I'm telling you, uh, people need to get to, to the restaurants. Uh, you're hungry, I feel it, <laughs> through, through the camera. You're, you need to eat, and you need to get that chicken, fish, that shrimp, and all of it. <laughs> the challenge. Yes. Uh, uh, what, what, what's the tater tots again? Crab loaded tater tots. Crab loaded tater tots. <laughs> you need to get your hands on those uh, right there in the Cleveland area. Get there, uh, silks. Chicken, uh, chicken and fish. And fish. You can I, give, can I give a shout out? Absolutely. I got to give a shout out to my pastor, Pastor Gregory Jordan, First Woo! Lady Jordan. Superintendent. Calvary, Church of God in Christ, 108th and uh, Superior. It's Absolutely. Happening. Yes, indeed. If you're here in the area, tune in to 93.1 every day at what time? 10 to 3. 10 to 3. You can catch Sam Silk on the radio discussing some of everything, but you will not find him neglecting his God. Sam, I can't thank you enough for thank being on, Thank you for on, having me. Man. Appreciate you. Appreciate what you. What an honor it was to be able to sit down with you. Likewise, and, bro. Uh, and talk about everything that you have your hands in. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Sam Silk of 93.1, also the owner and operator of Sam Silk Chicken and Fish. You need to get there. You need to tune in, and you need to be a part of what this man has going on within our community. I wish I had time for one more shout out. Yes. Queen Lady Z, got to show my wife some love. Got to talk about the wife. <laughs> Queen, <laughs> we didn't end the show without shouting you out. Thanks for tuning in to Radiant Life. I'm your host, Brandon Hollis. Until next time, God bless. We're glad you joined us for Radiant Life. Garth and Tina want you to be a partner in this ministry. Please send your best love gift today to TCT, P.O. Box 1010, Marion, Illinois, 62959. In Canada, P.O. Box 1220, Fort Erie, Ontario, L2A 5Y2. This has been a TCT Network production.